Promoters, and welcome back to the Solo Promoter YouTube channel. Thank you for being here. I wanted to do a follow-up video to my last Obsidian video um, because I realized that uh, there were some things I could have uh, said in that video to help make your your first forays into Obsidian a little easier. And so I apologize for that. Um, and a couple people have been asking about this. So I'm going to um, hopefully rectify some of those questions um, in this video right here. Okay, so um, we're just going to start. Uh, we're going to head over to Safari. And um, now I'm doing this all on a Mac. You can do it on a PC computer. I know a lot of people have PCs. I don't have a PC. Um, but really, uh, other than the downloading and like the little, you know, uh, different uh, uh, sort of ways to do things um, in terms of the technical stuff for the computer, this should be pretty much the same. So you're going to want to go to um, Obsidian and uh, download Obsidian for uh, whichever, um, you know, uh, process you're going to use it for and uh, for whichever computer you're going to use it on. Um, and and then you'll there is a link in my previous Obsidian video, but you know what? I'm going to put it in, in this video as as well uh, to a Google Drive that has a, um, a vault in there called Wrestling League Demo. Uh, so you're going to download that. So I'm going to download that <clears throat> and it's uh, preparing the file and it's going to download it. And um, it once, uh, okay, so it is zipped. There it is. It's downloaded. Um, and uh, you might not be able to see this part. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unzip this uh, file. And when you unzip this file, it is just going to have a folder called Wrestling League Demo, where demo wherever you've downloaded it to. So uh, I'm just going to um, assume you understand that. You download the file, you unzip it, and uh, it'll say Wrestling League Demo. So we're going to head over to Obsidian, and uh, I am going to open the file folder that we just downloaded into... Um, into Obsidian. So the way we do that is we go here where it says open folder as vault. Uh, so we click that. Now we have to find uh, where that is in our downloads folder. Now I got a million things in my downloads folder, uh, but wrestling league demo two. Now you want to make sure that you're selecting this outside folder. You're not selecting any of these uh, inside folders. You're selecting these fold this folder right here. So click that it's going to open uh, and there is our vault. Okay, so the first thing we have to do, and I should have said this in the last video, is you have to uh, enable some plugins and also install some plugins. And there's two very important ones. We can do, uh, I'll do a video at another time that's uh, other plugins that I use, but there's two that are very important. So you're gonna wanna come down here to settings and you're going to want to go to core plugins. And as you look down here, you're going to want to make sure, and, and these all do different things, but you're going to want to make sure that templates is enabled right here. Okay. So you want to make sure templates is enabled. And then you want to click here on this sidebar where it says core plugins templates. It says template folder action. And in there, you want to select templates. Uh, and what this is doing is this is selecting this folder here in your vault that has all our templates in it. Card template, manager template, ringside personnel template, special match template, blah, 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 wrestler template, event template, all that kind of stuff is, is, are in those folders. Okay. And what this does is if you create a new file and let's say we're going to call this wrestler 45, OK, uh, we're just making a, a random name here. Um, and now we want to enter in that wrestler's information. Uh, you'll come up here um, and you're going to go insert template. And here's all our templates. Wrestler template. OK, now you're going to see a lot of things immediately that say uh, table without ID number. You're going to see like kind of all these errors. But basically, this puts this template into here. Now, we want to make sure we get all these things working down here so that we have to go install a community plugin so we're going to come back over here and we're going to click on community plugin now when you click this you're going to be presented with this little screen that says 
you know, warning, you're installing a community plugin and uh, it might uh, have access to your thing. And, you know, like there's a peer, you know, they they check them out, but they're just saying, like, be careful because you're now opening your items in your vault out to the public. Um, but you're going to want to turn that on. And then you're going to want to come up here and go to browse. Now, this is going to show you a whole list of plugins that you can install. And um, let me just say that despite that warning in the front, um, there are several plugins that you should be able to feel free to install because uh, everybody uses them. They're well tested and they've, uh, you know, they're, they're not doing anything nefarious. And the biggest one that you want to install right here at the beginning is data view. And what I love here is they show you how many people have have downloaded this and the last time it was updated. So you want to install data view. So you click on that shows it over here. You click install. It'll take a second. You'll see over here successfully installed the plugin. Okay, great. Now we go back to our settings and uh, we have to, it says community plugin and then you'll see data view here. So it is installed, but you have to now activate it. You have to enable it. So now it is enabled. Now, when we go back to this page, you will see that these have all changed. Whereas before it was like a bunch of gobbledygook that said, oh, can't find there's an error or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Now it just says no results to show for table query. Okay. So uh, I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to, uh, my wrestling name when I was a kid was, um, I'm going to make myself a wrestling card here. And uh, so my wrestling name when I was a kid was the California Bodyguard. I don't know why I thought that would be a great wrestling name, but I did. Um, and then you can start filling in he things in here. Um, and uh, well, before we get to that, let's go down here and you're going to click on these to edit. And it said, here's what you have to do for each one of these things every time you add a wrestler. Um, and you can just copy and paste this if you want. Um, you're going to post the wrestler's name in here, Grandpa Choco. Okay. And then it'll show I have no wins, no losses, no draws. So uh, down here, detailed record. Uh, and again, it's going to say no wins, no losses. Uh, I don't know why it says, oh, because I haven't put the promotion in up here. Um, we'll do that in just a second. Uh, do down here is my overall record and, uh, appearances. Um, you're going to put that into from, yep. Grandpa Choco. Uh, I haven't made any appearances yet. This is down here is where you can copy and paste, uh, the bio. All right. So I've added all these things into here, uh, where I've, I've put the wrestler's name, my name in each of these things. So those are all set up. Now we want to scroll back up here. And we are going to put uh, my current Fed as zero. And the first Fed I'm in, I was in the WWF. Oops, not the WWH, the WWF. Now, as soon as I do that, you'll notice down here uh, that it adds WWF down here. And that's the promotion uh, that I'm in. And then let's say I had, I had, I didn't do too well. I had 12 wins and I had 45 losses and I had two draws in the WWF. So we come down here and you can see that it has populated uh, all my stuff here in the WWF. I had 12 wins, uh, 45 losses, and two draws. But then, but then I made a big jump to the WCW. Oh my gosh, they paid me so much money. Now, um, I, and so I want to change this current Fed to one because the WWF was zero. It was my origin fed. WCW was my next fed. So I want to change that to a one. And now I have to add in another space here for my win loss record in WCW. In WCW, I did so much better. I had uh, 134 wins and I had only, this was pretty amazing. I only had only two losses and I had zero draws. So pretty impressive record. Now, if we scroll down here, you can see that it has changed my current record 
to 134, 2, and 0. So that is my WCW record. That is my current record. Then in my detailed record, it shows that in the WWF, I had 12 wins, 45 losses, 2 draws. In WCW, I had 134 wins, 2 losses, 0 draws. And then in my overall record, it adds them all together so that it shows uh, it shows everything there. Um so that is basically it. Uh, and then if you, if I say, let's say I jumped back to WWF because I was such a superstar, I would drop this back to zero. And then that puts me back into WWF. Um, and it drops my current record back there. But then I can keep adding. And then I had uh, 290 wins total uh, there and only uh, 46 losses. And then we come down here and it updates it for my current record, for my current Fed. And you can change all the names of these. Like you could call this current Fed, uh, you know, detailed record, uh, overall record, whatever you wanna, whatever you wanna call them, uh, you can. Now for appearances, we have to create an event. So uh, let's super big fight card okay and then we're going to insert a template this is a card template and for the fed we'll say it is the wwf and then you can put the date that you played it or the date that uh the event is taking place you can put a venue in there and um let's see we're going to put grant pachoco versus uh andre oh andre might not be in here uh, let's see, Randy Rose. Okay. So now if, uh, so I'm in there, um, on this fight card, if I click back over here to my card, you will see that it has put super big fight card as, um, as, as an appearance that I made and it'll fill in the date and the venue. Um, if we go back over here, the date was, um, 1974, 05. 20 it's my birthday and it was at the cow palace san francisco california and then we click on my name here and we come down and oh look at that it was may 20th 1974 cow palace san francisco super big fight card uh i was there um and then you click on that it'll take you back over there click on that it'll take you back all right hopefully this helps because i know i understand that i talked a lot about in downloading this and installing it uh, but I forgot to mention the plugins um, as I said I will do another video about different plugins that I use um, but if you download data view and template or, and then turn on templates and uh, select the templates folder it'll be called the same thing in here uh, that should get you up and going uh, if you have any other questions, let me know below and I will try and do a video that will address them. Um, I'm happy to do that. As I said, there's a lot of other fun little uh, things we can install in here um, that uh, that that will add even more depth. But if you just want to start adding wrestlers, cards and um, bios and all that kind of stuff, uh, you can do that um, with with this. Uh, so there you go. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Let me know if you have any further questions and I will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.